welcome Yellow Starmite at your service with episode 30 of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And so, let's play. Okay, so here we are, legitimately ready to do the Water Temple. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just let you guys know, um, this is actually the very first episode that I am doing um, with voice narration and gaming at the same time what i usually do is i record the the gaming first and then i add voice narration part of it really just had to do with software that i had at the time and my knowledge of the software um but now i'm 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 learning a little more i have um and it's been it's been nice i i offset the audio um, that should that should <laughs> make it so it's a little more on time with stuff. Um, it's also just kind of nice um, saying something at the same time that I'm doing it. It adds a little more dramaticism. Also, when I'm reading scenes um, or like someone else's, you know, for a character, for like one of the characters here, um, I don't accidentally press the button too fast. If you've noticed that, I've done it quite a few times. It's been annoying. Um, it's going to fix that. Um, it's gonna probably make a few things more annoying, but hopefully it'll be entertaining for you. Um, you watching at home. Okay, uh, that, uh, that stop. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, we need to get... We need to get down here. Um, so a cool little thing we can do, or not, well, I just, I did it, but I didn't really explain it as I was doing it. Um, but you jump on these bad boys, and, um, it'll move the stairs. Um, so, where we need to go is down here. Um, so this bad boy, this bad boy right here, this little rhino looking thing. We can't do anything with him. I mean, we kind of can, but it's it's it, it's so much effort because of its armor um, that it's it's not really worth it. You don't you don't get enough for it, and plus later on in the game, um, you get an item that makes dealing with them a hundred times easier. Um, I would I would heavily yeah I would I would really just suggest not worrying about them at this point in the game. Um, later on in the game, you'll be able to deal with them so much easier you'll never want to go back to having to stab them from the behind um, I choose to just not because there's never really a point where you need to they're not really guarding anything um, anything that they might be guarding um, we just got a small key here but um, anything they might be guarding um, probably really doesn't happen until you get the claw shot anyway Oh, did I just say that? Yeah, that's totally what you get in this dungeon. Um, and I consider it to be the second most useful item in the game. Um, I use it a lot. Like, all... It's it's probably more likely that, I'll, that I might take that one out and get rid of the arrows but sometimes i i leave the the claw shot on there um the cool thing about the claw shot is like little um little um characters like i guess we're talking about this now but little characters like the keys and stuff um you can um you can kill them with that and it doesn't take any ammo like the arrows do the arrows take ammo okay i was looking at the clock and I started. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is gonna be fun, people. Um, this is gonna be fun. Okay. Um, I can take as long as I want saying this too. Phew! Free at last. Gracious, you're that nice fella who helped me out the other day. How nice to see you again. Well, now that we found each other again, let's stick together for a bit, hmm? I'll be right with you, so if you want to warp out, just let me know. Okay, this weirdo again. We're gonna... Why are... 
Like, whose idea was it to make, like, a... To take a chocobo and add, like, a creeper's face onto it? Okay. I'm gonna run past this guy. Um... So, yeah. I'm gonna kill this guy. I hate these guys. That's the one thing I don't like about this dungeon, is I hate those enemies. Um, it's not anything game-breaking, though. It's not anything awful. Um, don't, don't misunderstand me. I just don't love them, for sure. They're not my family. I don't have to... I don't have to, yeah, I don't. The Bible says, you know what? The Bible says I have to love you. Doesn't mean I have to like you. And I do not like those guys. And they're inanimate, <laughs> they're characters in a video game. I think we're gonna be good. Okay, so we're not gonna worry about that rock up ahead right away. We're gonna go through here. Uh, watch your step, otherwise you're gonna have to... You're gonna fall through there and have to start all over again. Okay, we're not gonna worry about him. He fell to his doom. It'll be good. Um, so... One of the reasons we're doing this first is we need a key, and it is right over here. Not a keys, a key. We don't need... We don't need any keys. I mean, we kind of do, otherwise... <laughs> I mean, we do need v video game enemies. Otherwise, the game ends up being boring like Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Did I say that? Actually, I guess I can't judge it because I never played that game. I think it's more one of those games where you have to... Uh, I, 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 I have met someone that actually enjoys that game, and he said that you just have to appreciate that it's a different game. Um, but I still don't understand why it has to be such a big world with nothing to do with it in it. But I guess I can't judge it. I haven't played it. So, don't listen to me. Um, uh, this is where it gets a little harder trying to run past them because there's two of them. Um, why did I... Okay. Let's just go through here. Um, so this bad boy, um, this bad boy is really hard to beat unless you know what to do. So what you need to do is attach water bombs to your arrow and then we can just do that there is another way to hurt him but we can't do that yet foreshadowing okay so this is definitely where we want to be and uh, this is gonna this is gonna open up what we're doing right now is gonna open up a uh, yeah, it's definitely definitely one of those backtracking dungeons. Um, definitely not as annoying as the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time, but there is... You have to backtrack yourself to the middle. And if you know where you're going, this one's a lot easier to know where you're going in comparison to the other one, where the other one feels more like a labyrinth. Um, really hard to keep track of what keys you've gotten. I don't know. This one's just a lot easier. Um, I mean, to be fair, the water cistern in Skyward Sword is a lot better, which is one of the few things I'll say about. Actually, I do like Skyward Sword. Who am I kidding? Um, but pointless item. Um, and there's an item up here that we can't get yet. Um, in fact, I think, I think that's just a stamp up there. I am this close to not coming and getting it. But, there's two different rooms like this, and I think one of them's a piece of heart. So, we should probably come back here. Um, yeah. Um, there's two ways to do that. We could have just jumped down, but I would rather slide. It's so much more fun, and we. <laughs> My main point is we. If that's not a good enough argument, I don't know what is. Okay, and oh nope, I did not mean to press A. Um, so now that the water level is up, we can get up to here, and that means and 
And now that there's water to go through here as well. Now, the water goes to the rest of the level, the rest of the dungeon, um, temple, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that'll open up new possibilities for us. Um, and since the water's running this way, we might as well go this way. Um, okay, um, okay, come, come here, come here. Let me hug you. What am I hugging? Why did I say that? Okay, there's supposed to be a jelly dude. Okay, so what we need right now... We need to get out our empty bottle because... Oh, please don't accidentally get the chew jelly. Okay, so the funny thing is I actually know the name of them and I called them Jelly Man anyway. Um, I mean, it's not like chew makes any sense. But we got a, we got a fairy there. Now we have now because we have three empty bottles, we have room for three fairies. Um, I think I think that's where the fairy is. I think there's only one fairy in each dungeon, and I'm pretty sure there's no fairy at the um, at the boss door. So yeah, knowing going to that is very important. Okay, there we go. Nice that it did a roll for me. Um, I didn't even actually press A. Sweet. What is this? Mario Galaxy? No fall damage? At least I think there... Yeah, I don't think there was fall damage in Mario Galaxy. Maybe it was Odyssey. I, I don't remember. But... Probably shouldn't talk about it too much here, but I love both of those games. Obviously, I like Galaxy... Well, I guess that's not obvious. But Galaxy 2 and uh, Twilight Princess are two of my favorite games. I might like Odyssey more than Galaxy, though. But when I did Galaxy 2, um, it wasn't really... Odyssey was not a thing yet. Um, so now that we have the key, we can now go this way. So it's kind of nice that it does that, where the key is before you get to this door. That's really nice of them to do that for us. So now we can just keep going in the same direction. Um, do not go to the left. Um, there's those bad boys that we can't do anything with, and there's not even a chest over there. Nothing really important that we need, so we're just going to leave that there. Um, okay, so we're going to want the boots in this section here. Um, or I guess me. You're not going <laughs> to. You're not going to do anything. You're just sitting there in home eating Cheetos. Jeez. Just watching people get Twilight Princess. That's a good video. Okay, I'm joking. Um, please watch my videos. Um, I need you. Um, so, and then there's a bad boy over here too. Um, yeah, whenever you're playing a video game ever, always look in places like this. Not just Zelda, Twilight Princess, not just Zelda in general. Video games in general, at least the kind of video games I play. Um, okay, please don't get too close to me. I want to get away from the blast radius. Get away from me. I don't want to get electrocuted. I know that you enjoy that, but who cares? Okay. No, really, who cares? Um, oh. oh, oh yeah, okay. Oh, man. I love it when these guys are easy to beat, because I don't always know what I'm doing with these bad boys. But, we have enough time to also do the mini-boss here. Wow, an episode where we get stuff done. Huh. I didn't know those existed. Um, it's definitely been a while. Okay, whoa. <laughs> I beat him. Where's my item? Where is it? Okay, fine. We look up here. There he is. I think it's, I think this is called a Deku Toad. Or like a, a ancient De Deku Toad or something. He's like an ancient version of, of the... I think the Deku Toads... Or this is the Deku Toad. 
and then they're like the little tadpole things those are this is an ancient version of that okay we're just gonna we're just gonna stab them um we'll get a little hurt from this um I prefer that. The, I, I guess we could waste our arrows, but I'm really not going to do that. We don't need to. Okay, I'm pressing the wrong buttons here. Oh, goodness. Okay, let's put that there. Now we have things the way I want them. Okay, let's get our sword out. Okay, so... Because I'm using a new program here, I've had to do quite a few runs of this episode. <laughs> oh no, I did that wrong again. Um, there we go. Oh goodness. Okay, so one of the reasons I don't use that when they're on the floor here is because there's water on the floor. And, and the, it doesn't explode in water. I've even tried using water bombs and it's still doesn't work okay just use B um, I find it so hard for some reason to like hit where you want to hit with a for this boss in particular oh man we got rid of all the eyes there that was good um, yeah definitely do what I do there with the eyes on the back um, using the bomb arrows I mean, you could just wait for them to attack you, but yeah. Wow, I beat that boss a lot quicker than I thought I would. Um, I th yeah. But now we get an item. We got the thing. This is another great item. I use it a lot. Um, and now it is going to basically replace the, um, not completely replace, it's, the, the, the boomerang is definitely still useful, but man, you would be surprised how unuseful in comparison to this thing is. Even with the multiple item thing. You can use it on keys and stuff. Um, but now, now that we're up here, so this is, this is that little one-ray room that we couldn't really get into. Well, I don't think I explained that in this version. But, I think we've done enough, so, I think we're gonna call it good here. And remember, kids, Axe Body Spray is for men. So if you want to be immune to someone hitting you in the balls, just spray Axe Body Spray on your crotchal region, and that will make it all better. And this is Yellow Starmite signing off. Remember to like and subscribe, and see you on the next episode.